On surface magnetochemistry is the science of the chemical interaction of magnetic molecules with surfaces. So it differs from conventional chemistry in that the molecules are not inside a liquid or gas. On surface magnetochemistry provides a key example of how the chemical sciences benefit from the combined use of different investigative tools. Often, for investigations in this field, X-ray absorption spectroscopy performed at large-scale facilities, such as the Swiss light source operated by the Paul Scherer Institute in Switzerland, is combined with microscopy. Thereby, individual chemical processes can be directly visualized on the atomic scale as they occur, while spectroscopic data identifies the chemical species on the surface as a whole and tracks their conversion. Professor Nirmalia Balav from the Indian Institute of Science Education and Research in Pune in India, a chemist with a broad background, and Professor Thomas Jung, a surface physicist and nanoscale scientist working at the Paul Scherer Institute and the University of Basel, are interacting closely to unravel the mechanisms behind chemical reactions occurring on surfaces. Magnetochemical interactions across molecule substrate interfaces and their chemical control are of potential interest for future organic spintronic applications. This film concentrates specifically on on-surface reactions between spin-bearing metalloporphyrins and metallothalocyanines with gaseous ligands. The role of the magnetic surface acting simultaneously as a support and spin-bearing reaction partner is here investigated in its role as a new type of chemical ligand, the surface ligand. Let me introduce Dorota Sivart, who did PhD on magnetochemical interactions across molecule substrate spin interfaces. I will explain you now the on-surface molecular spin switching. We produced thin nickel films which served as a substrate for cobalt tetraphenyl porphyrin molecules. Here you can see the molecules. Um, the cobalt 2 plus ion in the molecule has one unpaired electron which can couple ferromagnetically to the nickel substrate. After exposing the sample to nitric oxide gas, the magnetic signature of cobalt disappears while the substrate remains intact. We could restore the magnetic moment of cobalt by thermal desorption of the anode. So therefore we could switch between on, off and on state of the cobalt molecule. An elegant example of molecular spin switching can be found in nature. When we breathe, iron porphyrin molecule carries the oxygen in blood. Here we have implemented this concept in an on-surface environment where we put metalloporphyrin spin bearing and spin bearing metallothalocyanin on ferromagnetic substrate where the spins gets aligned. Now we expose ammonia or nitric oxide gas as an external ligand which binds to the central ion and the molecular spin can be switched off, on or tuned. My name is Christian Weckerlin and I did my PhD on on-surface magnetochemistry. Most recently we fabricated this um, nanoscale chessboard by co-evaporation of the iron and mangan containing functionalized complexes. The chessboard then consists of an alternating arrangement of um, iron mangan iron mangan complexes in two dimensions. Our XMCD data here shows that initially both complexes carry an induced magnetic moment. Because of the specific chemistry with ammonia, we can selectively switch off the moment in the iron complexes. That means in exactly half of the chessboard in a controlled fashion. This, comp this uh, reaction is reversible by annealing to room temperature. So we can switch between this 
state where both complexes are magnetic to this state where half of the lattice is non-magnetic. Here, a spin-bearing metal organic molecule is at rest after being deposited onto a ferromagnetic substrate in a vacuum. Through its contact with the magnetic substrate, the molecule becomes magnetized. This interaction is so strong that the magnetization is stable up to room temperature and beyond. Nitric oxide gas binds to the center of the molecule and, through this chemical reaction, the molecular magnetic moment is switched off. When it is subsequently heated, the nitric oxide desorbs from the molecule and the magnetic moment is switched back on again.